just gone for a probably about nine miles with the roadwork hack with um, someone who normally hunts. So his horses are super fit, super speedy, big hunters. Um, and I took little Tizzy. I didn't film any of it because um, I just wanted to have a bit of fun, not have to worry about kind of the camera and getting shots and things. But I do want to share with you the aftermath because we are very muddy. I've changed coat. I don't know if there's mud on my face. I always think you can't see on camera mud as much as it is in real life. But I just changed coat because I am covered. Wait until you see my horse in my tag. It is funny. Oh, look at that little mud splattered face. <laughs> Hello, Wiz. Should we wash you off? Here we have the very muddy Tizzy. Oh, look at her. Look at her boots. They're black under there. <laughs> How muddy you are. Covered. Slightly cleaner tizzy. Look, not so much mud back there. So I'm just gonna take her back to a stable, put her Thermotex rug on because there's nothing quite as good for keeping them nice and warm and drying them off. Then I will show you the state of my gear because it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, let me show you my chat. Nice, they're gonna need a clean. And then, everything is absolutely covered. My high bib is splattered. And then, look at the girl. Like it's on the floor now because it's disgusting anyway, it needs a clean. Everything, my water bottle holder. <laughs> Even the back of the saddle here. Look at that. My stirrups. And then we have the breastplate. A nose band. <laughs> oh dear. The sign of a good time when your tack is absolutely filthy you've had a blast and it's been fun but now it's time to clean it all i've got the inside of my boots mm. but that is the beauty of endurance tack that we are gonna just hose it all down <laughs> ready and some of the bits I can just hose down because it's plastic. My saddle and my chaps are still leather so I'm gonna go and spray and clean them now. 
I've just hung up my boots and girth, water bottle holder and my numner to dry, drip dry for a bit. Right, tack cleaner out. Let's get these clean. It actually smells super nice, almost like sweet. <laughs> All done. All done, clean, dry. Just about to go roll in the mud in the field. <laughs> As usual, touchdown. Do you have to be on top of it right now? What are the chances Tizzy rolls on top of Qantas then? No, he got out of the way, well done. Triple roll. Oh yes, Azid. Go on. Yay! Pontus is the worst at rolling all the way over. Oh, Tizzy's going for again. Tizzy back out in the field. It may not look like much. But this is actually quite a steep hill. It's not super steep, but it's steep enough and it's super windy. Ah! And I've just been pre-picking. Now I've got to try and get through that really muddy gate there. So it doesn't look that bad, but it's actually quite difficult to get a wheelbarrow through. So fingers crossed, we don't have a tipper. I made it just about. It was a close call. That is like a, a frequent occurrence at the moment because it's very clay sticky, getting quite deep. I'm now gonna go, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I shouldn't be so out of breath for that. I'm gonna go up to the um, strip crazy section, kind of my close off bit of the field because it's been a few weeks now and by their behavior as well, I think it's time to give them a little bit more grass. Come on then guys. You coming up? Exciting, new bit of field. Let's go. I don't know if you can see the difference between the two sides. It's meant to be quite warm next week. So grass grows over 12 degrees, I do believe. So hopefully if we get this side to rest, especially next week when it's a bit warmer, give it a little bit more grass will grow. And they can have this for a bit. Look at that view. So good. It's about this far off, reaching on one of the strands. Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> I'll go get another piece to tie across there, but we have some very happy ponies. This'll do. All done for the day on a nice autumn sunny crisp. Today we are doing a little bit of a tack room DIY session. So in the week I will put a photo here because I didn't get any footage of it. Um, the 
shelf that was at the back that was over my saddles fell down on top of my saddles. Luckily, my saddles were covered in towels, so they, they were fine. Um, so we offered, obviously this is a livery, it's not mine, but we offered to fix the shelf and also add another shelf above all the other saddles. One, to stop the birds pooping on them because they like, like to nest up there in the summer and two, to give everyone a little bit of extra storage. So while we we're putting up the shelf at the fuller down, we might as well add a little bit extra. So that is what we're gonna do today. Shelf number one. Almost in. Shelf one under construction. my first flat in the UK. I'm so moving in present for my brother who used to say best toolbox of tools because he decided that everyone, male or female, and quality people should have a decent set of tools. Still going.